Hi, it's Karen Gilbert here, and I thought I'd make a quick video giving you a little background tour of my online perfumery training level one course, so you can see what it is, what's included, and what you'll learn. So the very first thing to look out for when you join is an email that I'll be sending you with your login, username, and password, which will look like this here. As you see, it will come from me, so Karen at karengilbert.co.uk, and it will have all the important information on accessing the course. So keep this safe as you'll need it to log in each time, and obviously keep it private as it's only for those people who've paid to be part of this training. Now, there are three important parts to this email. Firstly, your username, which will usually be the email address that you used when you went through the checkout process, so this here. If you have a different PayPal email address, make sure you check that one too, as the email will usually go there. The next important bit is your password, which is this one here. And this is automatically generated, and you can change this if you wish when you log into the course for the first time. And the most important part is this link here, just here, which will take you to the course. So before we go inside and take a look around, there's one more step that you need to take in order to get access to the private Facebook group, um, which is also included as part of your training. Now, as this group is for my online course students only, you'll need a private invite from me. So to get this, all you need to do is reply to your confirmation email, confirming the email address you used when you signed up for Facebook. And this may be different to your PayPal email address or the email address that you signed up with here. It's really important that you just hit return. So if you hit reply to this email and just say, hi, Karen, um, here's the address. Here's the email address that I use for Facebook. Please can I have my invite to the private group? and we will add you, either myself or Charlotte will add you as soon as we get that email. So this is really important as I can only invite you with this address. It's a Facebook thing. Um, the link you get will not work otherwise as it's a secret group. So this Facebook group is where you'll be able to interact with your fellow students and ask me questions about the course and your perfumery study as well. So I will just quickly whiz over and show you that there. So this is inside the Facebook group. So as you can see, there are loads of people in there. There's so much valuable content in this group, as many people will have already asked the questions that you have too. So please make sure that you do join. I know there are quite a few people on the course that say, oh, I don't do Facebook. But even if you just sign up um, with an email and with an address just to join in, you will get so much more out of the course um, because you can interact with me. You can ask me any questions that you have. So, um, so that is the Facebook group there. So let's go into the course portal. So firstly, what I'm going to do is just copy my password here and click on the link. And what it will do is take you to the login page, which is your last doorway before you get through to the actual course. Now, as you can see, I've already got my username in here that I signed up with. And I am just going to paste the password into this section here. Click Remember Me. So if you want to keep coming back to the course, which obviously you will, you want to just click on this Remember Me so you don't need to keep logging in each time. And here we go. So welcome to the Level 1 online training. Now, this course is all about the foundations of creating perfume, and there is a focus on natural materials. So we will be covering some bits about synthetics as they apply to perfumery generally, but the main focus of this will be on, because it's a beginner's course, it will be on, main focus will be on natural materials. Now, if you've never done an online training before, let me show you around so you know exactly how to use it and where to go. So the course has been divided into seven modules, which you can see here. And chunking it down like this makes it easy to fit in with the rest of your life. So you can study a bit at a time. And I find people like the online training as it means that they don't have to take a day out or a weekend or even a week out of their life. You can come online, you can do it as and when you choose. 
This is always here for you and it's never going away. So you have lifetime access to the materials and any updates I make to it, any additional information that I add in, sometimes I'll put extra bits of resources in there. You will get access to all of that too. So if life gets busy and you forget something or you want to come back to it, then it's here for you. So let's go through each of the modules in turn and I will show you where you can access everything and how to use it. So let's get going with module one. Module one is all about training your nose like a pro. It's the fundamental thing you need to learn to create great perfume. So all you do is click on the module as I did just then, and that takes you into the virtual classroom if you like. So this is module one, and don't forget there are seven modules that make up this whole training course. So what you'll see first is a video. So if you're used to watching videos on YouTube, you will have no problem watching this. And by the way, if you're out and about and you want to watch this on your phone or your tablet, that's easy as well. Anywhere that you have a computer, a laptop, a tablet, a phone and an internet connection, you're good to go with this. So there's the video element to the training and underneath what you'll see is the rest of the content. Just here. So you can download and print out a copy of the slides, which is great if you want to make notes or revise. Um, and if you want a cheat sheet when you're out and about or when you're buying materials or even just for taking notes as you go through the video. Um, there's also a list of useful resources where I make reference to certain suppliers and things that you might need. Um, and any art, and we've also got some extra articles, um, extra reading for you there. If you prefer to listen to audio, so perhaps you commute to work or you're on a long drive, then you can download this here as an MP3 and listen to it on the move. So downloading any of these bits is easy. What I would suggest that you do is right click onto the link and then you do save link as and just save it in a file make up a file on your computer where you can store all your resources so anything like that you can just right click so as this is your virtual classroom all you need to do is go ahead and click play so each of the categories we went through now so that's exactly all the way to the right there. Um, smelling finished perfumes and blogging. So um, there we go, that's um, a little so bit of the video. So that's enough from me. You'll be hearing a bit more about, a lot more of that as we get into it. So um, one of the things I'll just say is like, you, because this is a class, you know, you've got to imagine that this is a classroom and imagine that you've gone into a training room for a couple of hours. Now that doesn't mean that you can't press pause at any time if you need to go and do other things. Um, so you just press play, pause, you're in complete control. But do try and set aside some good clear time so that you can really study this and get the most out of the course. So as I said before, downloading any of the resources is simple. Just simply right click and save to your computer. So um, that's training your nose like a pro. And so by the end of this module one, I would expect you to be able to evaluate materials in a professional way and be on your way to recognizing the main groups of notes used in perfumery. So this is really the fundamental part of creating a fragrance. You've really got to train your nose before you get going. So this is a great section. You've got about an hour and 45 minutes worth of video here, and we will talk about how perfumers train their nose, how to use smelling strips, um, the different notes used in perfumery as well. So we've got some, some bits here. Um, and some, um, you know, ways of using odor descriptors. So there's all sorts of stuff that you have got as resources here that you can keep coming back to time and time again. So that's module one, training your nose like a pro. So let's get back to the main dashboard here. And um, we will go straight into what you're going to get in module two. So module two where is where we'll be delving into the main materials used in perfumery. So we'll be talking about the differences with naturals and synthetics, where the materials come from. You are also going to learn 
um, how these materials are used in the construction of a fragrance. So you'll know exactly where they fit in and how to use them when you're making your own perfumes. And one of the most important aspects of creating your own fragrance is learning how much of each material to blend with each with other materials to create a balanced accord. And by the end of this module, you'll, you'll have the tools to evaluate each material's impact and longevity in a fragrance, making your perfume creation 10 times easier. So as you see, um, we've also got the section here where you can download the slides to make your notes. You've also got another article on evaluating materials by impact. And you've got your audio as well. So if you want to listen on the move, you can. So each one of these modules is really a dedicated training course in its own right in many ways, like a morning's workshop. And um, again, you've got all of the access to all of these materials um, as a lifetime. So you can keep coming back to them time and time again. So let's scoot over to module three. Now, module three is where we really get into looking at finished fragrances. And this is your fragrance classification 101 module. This is your primer for understanding how and why we put fragrances into different categories. And by the end of this module, you'll know how to differentiate between the fragrance families that we use. And you will have the tools to deconstruct the notes in your favorite perfumes, both classic and modern, too. So we will be um, also looking at how to pull apart those fragrances. And so, you know, that will make it a lot easier for you to create your own. Scooting down underneath the video, you've got, again, your slides you can download. You've got your audio if you want to listen to it. You've got a couple of um, industries or classification charts here. Um, fragrance wheel, which is, um, which is another method of classification. There are lots of different ones. So by the end of this, you'll really have a great understanding. Um, and even when you go out shopping to buy fragrance, you'll be light years ahead of any of the sales assistants <laughs> that you meet in department stores. Trust me on that. So this is a really important module. So before you start creating your own fragrances, it's really important to see how um, the fragrances are categorized in the market and where your creations will fit in with that too. So let's go back to the dashboard. And we will skip to module four. So accessing module four, again, really, really simple. Um, just click on that. So you've got your video here and you've got loads and loads of resources in this one. So module four is all about creating accords. So an accord is the building block of any, they're the building blocks of any fragrance. So what you're going to learn in this module is both the traditional Jean Carles method for creating an accord and a much more simplified method too. Um, you're also going to learn how to prepare your materials before you start blending so that they're much easier to work with. And by the end of this module, you'll have created your own simple accords and you'll have minimized the wastage of your expensive materials and you will be well on your way to creating your first fragrances. So this module, again, we've got the video here, you've got your slides, again, you've got your audio. There's some resources on finding perfumery scales. You've also got this a really in-depth um, series of articles uh, on the Jean Carles method and a sheet there for you to help formulate your fragrances. So this is a little bit of a handy resource that I use myself. Um, so that is module four on building accords. So module five. So in this module, we're really building on what you learn in module four, module three, module two, and module one. So each module is building on a bit at a time um, from the previous modules. So this one is all about creating a finished fragrance. So what we're going to be doing in this module is turning those accords that you created in the previous module into a finished fragrance. So we'll look at the different types of fragrance construction that have been used throughout the ages. So for both naturals and synthetics um, and 
both historical fragrances and modern fragrances. And you will also look at, be looking, we'll be looking at um, where to get inspiration for your creations as well. So this is the really create, we're starting to get really um, exciting and creative in, in this module here. So in the previous modules, it's all about learning the techniques. And this is really pulling all of that together for you. Um, so this is where the fun really starts. And you'll be creating your very first fragrance brief to work with um, when creating your perfume. And we'll also cover some alternative ways of creating a finished fragrance, as well as how to dilute filtering and maturing your final fragrance as well. So again, as usual, we've got um, the slides and we've got the audio here. So if you prefer to listen to it on the move. So video here, again, just you just press play and you are good to go. So the final module before we get into the bonus module, so this is module six, and it's all about creating fragrances for cosmetic products, which can be a complex business. So many people I find are joining this course want to make fragrances in alcohol, so EDTs to spray on. But many, many of you will be looking to create fragrances for other product types. So you may have a um, an idea for a business, or you may already have a business making skincare products, bath and shower, room fragrance, candles, that kind of thing. So this is where we pull all of those pieces together. So the previous um, five modules is all about learning the techniques and how to create the fragrance. This is really about how to um, apply what you've learned to creating fragrances for other types of product as well. So. Um, in this module, what we'll be doing is looking at the different ways that a product base can affect your fragrance, um, creating a product range as well. So what you need to keep in mind when you're creating a fragranced product line. Um, you're also going to be learning how to evaluate your fragrances effectively. So once you've created them, you need to evaluate them to know how they're going to be perceived in the market, whether they're going to work in the bases that you're going to put them in. Um, and also, this is um, something that you really need to keep in mind when, if you are looking at creating fragrances to sell, then you need to understand the rules and regulations around selling your products as well. So you may have heard the terms IFRA, so the International Fragrance Association, which regulates fragrances. And the, if you're in the EU especially, you'll need to have a bit of an understanding on the EU regulations. So we will be also covering that in this module. Um, so obviously you've got your video again here and underneath you've got your slides that you can download, you've got your audio to listen on the move and in this module as it's um, there's quite a lot of bits on rules and regs at the end so I've got some resources here for you to explain some of the more kind of scientific bits that you know do confuse a lot of people so we've got the um, this is this is an article on exporting products to the EU. So if any of you are in the States or in other countries and you want to sell in the EU, this is what you need to know. You've got some an IFRA booklet here and also other bits and pieces like making a solid perfume. So previous articles I've written. So this module really is um, fundamental for those of you looking to create perfumes for other product types other than an eau de toilette. Um, and also for those of you who are looking for, um, you know, you want to sell your products at the end of the day. You may not be there quite yet, but this is a really um, important module. So don't skip over this one. So that's module six. And finally, I will just show you quickly module seven, which is the bonus lesson. Now, this is a lecture that I did for Nottingham University on creating and marketing a fragrance brand. And um, this in this one is just a video. So this is a pre-recorded video. And so what we'll do in this one is look at the history of fragrance and how branding is used in the industry. So by the end of this, um, again, you've got your video. You just need to press play. Um, by the end of this module, you'll have a much greater insight into what it takes to create a great fragrance brand. So um, 
that's it for the videos. So let me just scoot back here into the main dashboard. So the great thing about this course, this online course, is that it fits in around your everyday life. So even though each one of these is a dedicated mornings workshop on its own, if you like, you can come back to it whenever you want. Um, videos, you can press play, pause, etc. So now you've had your little tour, I can't wait to welcome you inside and I look forward to getting started with you. Bye for now. <laughs>